Okay. First of all, this coffee smells crazy. Like, super fermenty and fruity. Honestly, one of the first flavors that jumps out at me is like the... You ever had the Special K with the the, the dried uh, dried strawberries? It tastes exactly like that. Like those, those dehydrated strawberries. The mouthfeel is kind of similar to what you would get from like a milk chocolate. It's actually really good. This is definitely a natural. Um, it might be like an anaerobic. This is where we get into those other processing methods, but it's definitely not a washed coffee. This is 100% either natural or anaerobic. Also, before I reveal this coffee, if you don't know what I'm doing every morning with these coffees, check this video out up here. It's um, a coffee out ad- in calendar that uh, my company made. And um, it's 24 different coffees from 24 different roasters. And you don't know which coffee it is until the day of. So that's what every morning I'm trying to guess what it is. Okay, let's lock it in. Natural or anaerobic Ethiopia. Got kind of milk chocolate and dehydrated strawberries. Those are my two notes. Let's do this. Ethiopia Chantawini. Anaerobic passion fruit. <laughs> ah, anaerobic passion fruit strawberry. Did you see that? Did you did you see that? You see that note right there? Strawberry and anaerobic? You know what that means? That's three in a row. That's officially a winning streak. <laughs> oh, day nine. The comeback is real. All right, <clears throat> all right. This is exciting. And uh, and bef- before I unbox this, I, I want to say that this channel is not turning into a coffee channel only. It's just that December is very uh, conducive for coffee for me because obviously through the cafe we get a lot of new stuff. The advent calendar, the thing that we're tasting every morning. It just uh, it ends up being a little bit more coffee than the other months, and uh, this is no exception. Let's uh, let's bust this open. Orbit key, always. Box cutter tool. Ooh, okay, I see it. Check that out. A little bit of a box change. It's the fellow O Gen Two. Definitely a different box than the than the other one. Ooh, version one, version two. Appearance-wise, they look pretty much the same. Let's look at these. Well, these two actually are slightly different. They're the same height, but the V2 is a little bit wider, so you get a little more. A little more in there than you do in this one. I guess that makes sense because the hopper can carry a little bit more than the original one. So visually, they look pretty much the exact same. The biggest difference with the version two is the grind, and uh, you can actually go a lot finer on these ones. Um, I haven't obviously tried it yet, but I'll give you my actual thoughts on this when we do try it. I just wanted to give you a quick little sneak preview of what's gonna come. Either way, I highly recommend these grinders, even if you can get a V1, because the V1s are uh, way cheaper now than the new ones. You can find one for about 350 Canadian, whereas these ones are gonna be probably 450. So you can save 100 bucks, and if you really want the extra burrs, you can just get the upgraded burr set, which is really the biggest difference here. Food for thought. <laughs> 